my goodness, it's too big to flip almost. I don't want to break my line. Bella, let's go now. Come on. Stop breaking him off. Well, what's up guys? This is Daniel from Arms Family Homestead and it's the day after the big storm and I'm going to try to do some catfishing today. I think the channel cat should be coming up the creek after this storm, coming up to feed and stuff. So I've got some night crawlers and stuff. So we're going to do set out a couple poles, do some catfishing because we've been doing all this sand bass fishing lately and uh, I want to eat some catfish. So it's just me and Bella. Houston's at school and Mom, stayed, Mom made little Earl stay at the house because he got all muddy yesterday and she didn't want to give him another bath. So Bella, on the other hand, she takes a lot of creek baths. But we're going to throw out some catfish rods. I'm starting to see a lot of fish hit the surface right now. I'm guessing it's little small sand bass feeding on bugs and things. But typically after these storms, it takes about a day or so for the sand bass to really make their way up out of the lake and into this creek. So I came way down the creek to where the water's moving slow. And I think there'll be some channel cat sitting over there next to that rock bank. And uh, we'll give it a shot. If it doesn't work here, we'll move, hit some different deeper holes on the creek and see what we can find. But uh, I'm gonna get some night crawlers thrown out and see if we can get some catfish for dinner. Just using a pretty basic rig. I got a little small, it's probably a little bit smaller than what I should be using, but it's a little circle hook. And we're just gonna tore a night crawler in half because these things are so big and this was such a small hook. I didn't wanna waste all my worms real quick, but channel cat will eat just about anything. They're not too picky. So we're gonna try it and see if we can get any nibbles. And I've got about, uh, I think this is about a three quarter ounce piece of lead. So I've got the weight down low. So this thing will set on the bottom and my worm will just kind of hang out there to keep my line tight and I'll be able to see if we get a bite. I don't know if it was the current or a stick, but while I was casting out my second rod, it looked like this rod already got a bite. It was jumping pretty good, but it could have just been the current rolling that weight. Dang, that definitely looked like a bite. Had to have been a fish. Hit it again, little channel cat. Oh yeah, my line's swimming down the creek. There it goes. Oh, I'm gonna fall down, Bella. Get up here, fish. Oh yeah, that is not what we were looking for, Bella. <laughs> we got a sucker. Got a sucker fish, Bella. We're not eating suckers tonight. That's just not, that's not on the menu for me. But I knew something was hitting it. But typically these guys don't bite a lure, but they say they'll eat earthworms. And uh, I guess that was true. Ain't that right, Bella? Well, I think it's time to make a move on down the creek to a deeper hole. I've had a few decent strikes right there and caught that one sucker, but uh, no catfish. And I think there's a lot of trash hitting my line and keep catching leaves and stuff. So I'm gonna move on down the creek to a deep hole. And if that doesn't work, we'll move upstream to a deep hole where there's faster moving water. I don't know, we're gonna try to find them. Hey guys, today's video is sponsored by Harry's. So you guys know we've been partnered with Harry's for a long time. Even though I don't shave a lot anymore, beard's kind of getting out of control. I need to trim it up, but I have to shave my neck. I can't stand that 
itchy, scratchy feeling on my neck. And now, after 14 years in law enforcement, having to shave every day, I feel like Harry's is a pretty good partnership for us because I used a lot of razors. I used a lot of different cheap razors, and I always hated that razor burn feeling. I got very sensitive skin. I'm a soft, gentle kind of guy when it comes to shaving, and I can't use those cheap disposable razors. So if you're not familiar with Harry's, Harry's is a personal care brand that delivers a close, comfortable shave at a fair price for as low as $2 per refill, and they're shipped directly to your door. That's the greatest part about it. I love that I don't have to go out and bite the bullet and buy those expensive razors anymore. So Harry's also supports great causes as they give 1% of their global sales to nonprofit organizations that provide mental health care for those that need it. So what I like about Harry's is, like I said earlier, you can get refills for as little as $2. Now they sent us this little starter set. They also sent me a cool gift set here. I'll show that to you in just a second. But with the starter set, you get everything you need to get started. And then you can do either a subscription. You can subscribe and get refills sent directly to you. Or you can buy them as you need them. Because if you're like me, I don't have to shave a whole lot. And one refill lasts me like several weeks. Because all I do is shave my neck once or twice a week. And we're good to go there. So with the with the trial set, if you buy you know their their starter pack, you'll get a weighted handle, which I've been using these for a long time now, and it comes with one five blade cartridge. You'll also get a bottle of their awesome shave gel and the little travel cap that goes on your razor when you're on the road. Now they also sent a special gift. I guess it's Father's Day coming up. They wanted me to. Uh, let you guys know about this because we use all kinds of hairy stuff like the body wash i can't keep this stuff in my house my kids steal it my wife steals it everybody uses it but this is the winston set and it's kind of like the starter set except you get a full size bottle of the shave gel you get a couple extra cartridges the travel top but check this out this is the cool part so instead of your typical weighted handle it's like a Father's Day gift thing, I guess. You get a little bit more premium handle that has, I don't know if it'll show up on camera or not, but it has my name engraved. And yeah, they did just call me Dan. But you can, you can do the Winston set or like a Father's Day gift or something like that. And you get a lot bigger of everything, a lot more of everything than just the starter set. So if you click the link, you can get the trial starter set for as low as $3. That'll get you everything you need, get you set up, and then you can subscribe later if you'd like to, or just buy your refills when you need them. And also, if you use the link in the description box or go to harrys.com arms, you'll get $5 off of any of their gift sets. Harry's is, is uh, reaching out and doing a lot of other things besides just razors. They've got all kinds of, like I said, body washes and deodorants and all, just men's men's beauty that's what it's that's what we're gonna call it men's beauty supplies anyways check out harrys.com slash arms or check the link in the description box thanks to harry's for sponsoring this video and supporting our channel and helping us bring you these videos that uh, take time and money to do so anyways guys back to today's creek life adventure all right spot number two got a nice bend in the creek here and it's real deep on this side and it falls off or well it crawls up real shallow over there so it's just like a sloping bank up but over here it stays pretty deep so i've got my rods thrown out with a couple worms there's a little cut right here kind of a deep eddy almost and then right down there is where houston and i were catching sand bass a couple videos back the eagle's nest is right up there in that tree so there should be some fish in here may uh break out the jig and see if i can catch a sand bass i don't know what keeps jumping but there's hundreds of fish jumping all over the place it could be shad it could be carp coming up eating bugs those sucker fish coming up eating bugs or it could be sand bass it's kind of hard to film right here though i don't have a tripod so i've been trying to clamp my my gopro on tree limbs and stuff
Yeah, a giant. But that's what we're trying to do right there. Catch his little channel cat. Now he's just barely big enough to fillet. Problem is, I'm about out of worms. I only had about six or eight left in that package. Thought tearing them in half, I'd have plenty of worms. But we'll see what we can do. We can always turn him loose. I'm already getting a bite again. Oh, definitely. I think I found the catfish. Oh, poop. Well, not a catfish, but it's a drum. Kind of small. I really want to do a drum catch, clean, and cook on the video someday on the channel, but uh, that one's kind of small. Dang. As soon as I pick up a fishing rod to see if I can catch a sand bass, start getting a bite over here. didn't quite take it. If I can hit that far rod and just dropped it. Oh, missed. Fella, we're gonna bite. Maybe. Might have just been a leaf. Yeah, I think some leaves just hit the line. Well, I got something. Something a little bit bigger. If it feels like it. Oh yeah. Good catfish. Channel cap. Come on up here, buddy. Get up here. Get up here. Yeah. He's talking to me. Looks like we may be having some catfish after all. Perfect eating size channel cat right there. Probably about a pound and a half or so. Just hey, you're not already yeah. cooking lunch, are you? No, I got two catfish. You want catfish for lunch? Sounds good. Wes is home. Okay, I'll see if I, I got huh? well, I might have enough for three people. Um, give me just a few minutes, I'm gonna try to catch one more. Okay, we'll bring them back and cook them for lunch. Okay. Okay. Love, right. you. Love you. Bye. Catfish for lunch. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Bella, I'm going to need your help. I think we're getting a bite on both rods. I get a little bit excited when I'm catfishing. Sorry, guys. Try to hold this camera, catch a fish at the same time. He just picked it up and dropped it. He didn't really take it. Come on. You're still getting a bite, Bella. He's still there. At least on this rod. He's thinking about it. Just can't quite make up his mind if that night crawler is what he wants for lunch or not. Could be a fatal mistake, though. Because uh, we're fixing to have catfish for lunch. Well, I guess he quit on me. Oh, guess who's back? Come on. Take it. 
Take it. Got him. Got him. He don't feel very big, but I got him. That's three fish. It better be a catfish. Oh, yeah. Ah! Oh! He come off the circle hook? Really? I got one worm left. Down to my last, very single last worm. We need one more fish, guys. Bella, I'm disappointed you let me lose that catfish. I had him. There we go. It's gonna be the magic spot, right over there by the bank. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, come on. Get it, get it, get it. This rod's got a little bigger hook. You know, it's not a circle hook. Oh, he's definitely, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Got him this time. That's three fish. That's what we needed. Good job, Bella. If we can get him in now. This is a good one. Sorry for the underarm GoPro mount, folks. Gotta do what we gotta do, right? Get up here. Bella, you get the net. Okay? Oh, this is a good one. Probably the biggest one so far. Oh, don't get in that brush. Yeah. I need to get more worms and bring Houston back down here later. Cause uh, this is fun. Get up here. Oh my goodness, he's too big to flip almost. I don't want to break my line. Bella, let's go now, come on. Stop breaking him off. Come on catfish. Get up here, get up here, yeah! We got lunch. We got lunch, Bella. Good job. How about that? I told you guys, I knew the channel cat would be in the creek. I knew they'd be here today. The conditions were just perfect. And uh, we got plenty for lunch. Houston's still in school, but I may have to find me some more big knot crawlers and bring him back down here this evening because I think I found them and uh, getting quite a few bites, but uh, it's time for lunch. What is it, Earl? See them catfish? Hmm? What is it? So I know some of you are gonna get onto me because you think catfish should be skinned, then filleted, but I'm just gonna go ahead and use the electric fillet knife and fillet them just like any other fish because we want to have lunch real quick. Now these little channel cat aren't really big enough to get a lot of belly meat off of. The biggest one you might be able to get a, a small belly fillet, we'll try, but we're just gonna take the two fillets off the sides and uh, fry them up for lunch. Big old catfish fillet. Since you can't go wrong with fried catfish, we're just gonna do a very simple recipe with yellow cornmeal, garlic powder, onion powder, and paprika. Now, I don't measure anything, okay? It's just all to taste. Uh, I may add some, uh, some salt, because my wife likes her fish to be pretty salty, but I don't, I'm not gonna tell you to use how much garlic, how much onion, all that, but we're just gonna put it in there, and then we'll dip our uh, fillets in there, throw them in some 350-ish degree peanut oil. It's actually recycled peanut oil. I've used this several times. And then we'll probably have some tater tots. I don't have any hush puppies. I don't have any coleslaw. So it's just a quick, fast lunch. And uh, we'll get my wife's opinion on these extremely fresh, I mean extremely fresh, fried catfish fillets.
Drop the tater tot. Frozen. Good luck eating it. Tater tots coming out hot. Hold up. Hold up. Yeah, I got some in the middle. Hey, mm. stay out of my tots unless you want to be the one out here sweeping the patio after the storm. <laughs> what does that have to do with anything? Nothing. Okay. Nothing. I just don't want to have to do it because everything is covered yeah. in pollen tassels and leaves so and sticks. Clean. and It was. It was so clean. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Oh my goodness. I'm just glad you don't like catfish. <laughs> Whatever. Houston's gonna be so mad at us. It's fine. It's all the time. He's always mad at me. What is it, Jimmy? You just patiently waiting on your bike? Hmm? You know you're gonna get a bike? No comment. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. It's a big one. <laughs> all right, since you don't like catfish and all. Catfish. What are you talking about? What are you doing over there? Yeah, the <laughs> How is it? Look at this. Mmm, look at those fillets. Mmm. You're not gonna like it. Sorry for you, I do. Mmm. Hey. Get a cup. <laughs> Get a cup. I'm the only one that drinks this. Mm. I'm getting that one. It's so good. Is it? Mm-hmm. Very good. You're welcome. Thanks. Love ya. It's not healthy, but... She's on a diet. She just don't <laughs> want to admit it. It's not a diet. <laughs> just get a boy. Are you on my reaction? No. Yeah, you are. Mm. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I wanted. It's not quite what Trashy wants. Oh my goodness, Weston. <laughs> Trashy, you're not supposed to eat at the table. <laughs> Teenagers. So you approve of my catfish? That was swimming in the creek. Like, what time is it? It is 1.20. That was swimming in the creek at 12 o'clock. Because I was like, I hope I can get this back in time to actually cook lunch and she won't be... Like starving and hangry. I mean, I was starving, but it was worth it. You don't, you don't like hangry, Mom. No. Mm-mm. Yes, we Oklahoma people do put catfish in ketchup. Just gonna have to deal with it. Well, here goes nothing. Mmm, that's oh. amazing. <laughs> what he said. Mm. Man. Mm. That's really good. Not fishy at all. Get used to eating those sand bass and you forget how good a catfish tastes, huh? Mm -hmm. That's I delicious. Think, I don't think I'm as shy in front of the camera now. No? You don't think so? No. Maybe a little bit. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna eat. Like, good fish? No, it's not good. It's just so good. You got the skinny piece? No, I got a big old fat one. Mm. Just the end of it. Well, that was a good lunch, and I had a good time out catching some catfish by myself this morning. Those little channel cat like that are absolutely extremely good eating, and you can't beat it straight from the creek like that. And uh, Earl didn't get to go this morning. He had to stay at home. But anyways, guys, that's all I've got for today. Thanks for watching. Uh, thank you to Harry's for sponsoring today's video. We sure appreciate it. Be sure to check out our link in the description box. Go check them out. And... Uh, so guys, that's all I've got for today. Thanks for watching. 
We hope you enjoyed it. And as always, we'll see you on the next video. Earl.